It's Sunday, it's mid-afternoon, thanks to the time change. Okay, we'll try that again. It's Sunday, mid-afternoon, thanks to the time break, time change. Um, what we got going on here is in the six packs, the, they're getting even bigger. This is good. Uh, the beans and peas, not doing as well. Squash kind of taken off in this one, so I'm happy there. Um, the watermelon down in here is, looks like it's still alive, although it's pretty well buried, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But the surprise I got was there's one popping up. Actually, it looks like there might be two popping up here. So, looks like the watermelon is not a completely lost cause. The lemon cucumber, since I started giving it more sun, is doing better. Um, the tomato over here, I've actually noticed that I've got a couple of new buds up at the top, so we'll see if that turns into anything, because the ones down below really aren't amounting to much. Um, the flower's doing okay. Over here we've got uh, this one pea plant. Looks like it may be a lost cause. The other one is not doing great, but it's still alive. Then over here we've got more of the chamomile. Uh, more chamomile. Let me see if I can do this a little better. And the basil. If you look up around there, there's a couple of them starting to pop. And I'm finally getting what looks kind of like something in the cinnamon basil, so we'll see what that turns into. It's Monday morning, and it's the first ever budget gardener road trip. This is my parents' place, and I got a phone call last night. My father was digging up a hole so he could plant this plant to replace the plant that used to be there, and you can see the root. The root of the problem. So, my chore is to try and cut that sucker out, which we believe is attached to this tree. We're hoping it doesn't do anything. Dad's not worried. Then I gotta try and dig this one out and see if there's a root underneath it. So, that's for this plant here. So, uh, we'll see. No more roots, thanks to Milwaukee. Okay, so that's one hole dug. The other hole's been dug, the plant's been extracted, and a new one put in its place. All that remains is to put that plant in there. And the finished product. Whew. That's a lot of work. Okay, so it's now Wednesday. I've missed another update yesterday, but let's see if I can get you caught up. Um, the watermelon transplant didn't really, doesn't look like it took, I don't know. It's just kind of limp and dying there. Um, the peas and stuff are pretty much the way they were. One development here is that we've got um, in with the spaghetti squash. There's another one that has popped up. I don't know what that is. That was. I'm guessing it's another pea uh, or um, or a pole bean that was uh, where the seed was already in there. So who knows? We'll see. Uh, looking at the scallop squash, I can actually see down here. There's another one starting to pop. The uh, lemon cucumber is hanging in there, it's getting a little bit bigger, so that's less disappointing than, than it was before. Um, the watermelon actually, despite the one over here that didn't transplant all too well, I got a little surprise where these are now popping up, um, and there's two of them right next to each other, which is not how I planted it, I don't think. So I'm not sure if there's another seed that somehow got in there. We'll see. Otherwise, we've got the other squashes from last year. Those are doing okay. Um, I did transplant from one of the six packs. Uh, I gave a neighbor one of the squash plants. Uh, it's in a larger pot now, and we'll see how that survives. Uh, coming over here, we've got the uh, transplanted pole beans, which are just growing slowly. The um, lima bean is still alive, so I'm happy about that. The real sort of interesting part is the tomato plant now you can see these buds are starting to pick up. So I've got to make sure I continue to water this and give it some milk here and there, and we can see if we can actually get these buds to finally take. 
Uh, beyond that we've got the planter box here where we've got the one pea over here which looks like it's pretty much gone, although I'll keep watering it and we'll see because I get surprises in this garden sometimes. Um, pea on the other side seems to be surviving. Uh, it's going to need more sun. It may just take some time for it to finally pick up. The uh, pole beans, the leaves are nice and green and everything and, and we'll see what that turns into. Over here we've got the chamomile. Some of these plants have, are actually getting rather large. So this is nice. It's finally starting to grow. And it's a little easier now to see some of the little leaves from the basil. So I'm a happy camper, but i got to keep going. Until next time. Okay, so it's midday Thursday. Um, well, here's the update. Um, <clears throat> I say uh, most of the stuff is pretty much kind of as it's been. I think this watermelon seed. I think I just completely killed it. This is the one I transplanted from the kitchen. Um, but fortunately, I got what looks like two watermelon seeds growing here. So um, then on the squash, which is let's see, this one is the scallop squash. Looks like we got another seed that's popped here. Uh, I think that popped yesterday. And then I got another one just as I was watering it today. It looks like it's starting to pop. So what I thought was, I, I just got to, I guess, learn that uh, sometimes things take a while to germinate. Um, we've got this new seed here that's popped, which looks uh, looks like a squash seed, but I have no idea which one it's going to be. Um, so it's just a real mystery. This one showed up here. I'm going to have to just sort of keep track of it and figure out uh, what to do to keep it separate from the rest so it's not confused and I don't expect certain fruit and get different fruit. Um, the beans continue. Uh, we're doing okay here on these squash seeds here, which were the two from last year. Uh, the tree, the other tree, more beans. This would be the lima beans, which you just kind of see that's what it looks like. It's not beautiful, but it's still alive. The uh, tomato, if I come up here, here's those buds that I noticed uh, a few days ago. They're starting to open up, so let's see if that turns into anything. Then we're back to the flowers. we got this planter here, which I just watered, and so you can kind of see it dripping a bit. Um, the pea on the left seems to have survived, and it is growing now. The pea on the right is going brown and may be a completely lost cause. The beans in the middle are doing fine. Uh, moving over, we've got the chamomiles getting even bigger, um, which continues on to the middle of this planter. And then we have the large, uh, large leaf basil, which isn't really all that large. And I'm not even sure if you can see if I come up over here. You can see it up in the upper right corner there. Um, and a couple more in here. And then we get the cinnamon basil over here, which is just starting to pop. So it may be a little hard to see on camera. But that's it for, for now. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I, I've been enjoying some squash in the kitchen, just what I bought from the grocery store. And I decided to save some seeds. And this is the spaghetti squash that I bought. And if you look at it carefully, you can see I put the seeds in there. I guess they were still a little bit moist because they've all got tails now. So I guess I'm going to maybe try and plant a few of these seeds, and the rest I may have to just toss, because uh, I've got plenty of spaghetti squash seeds, um, and it's just this is going to take up too much room. But I may try and plant a couple of these just to see if uh, my trying to save seeds has actually worked as a good experiment. I also have over here, this is some uh, banana or, um, what do they call it, uh, uh, butternut squash. So. Uh, these seeds I just packaged today. Um, I set them aside a couple of days ago, so we'll see if they start growing tails.